everybody, this is Steve with Smitty's Flybox. We're tying Blooming Olives. First thing we're going to do is uh, we need to tie in a tail. So I just have some hen cape feathers. And we can just run our fingers through that feather and, and tear off or clip off a small clump. And you want that clump to be about the length of the hook shank. Once we have that measurement, we can uh, carefully hold it on an angle and then just bring our thread around so it, it slightly rolls it up on top and just tie down all the, those fibers all the way back to our tie in point which is directly above the barb of the hook. Your feathers should stick out there nice and straight and um, then you can return the thread back to just past halfway and that's where we'll start with the uh, wing. So I've just got some poly yarn here and I've just stretched it out a little bit. It helps if you can comb it out just uh, to straighten those fibers just a little bit and it'll be a little easier to work with. So we want our thread to be about two thirds up the hook shank and we're just going to lay one of those clumps right on top and just secure them in. And then we can snip off the back end. And then what we'll do is we'll just make a bunch of wraps and tie down all that back in there and we're just creating a nice taper to that fly body. Now we want that wing to stand straight up, so we'll just hold everything back and just build up a bunch of thread just in front of that, that wing, and that'll help it stand straight up and, and look nice, nice and neat right there. Once we've got that all tied in, now we can just uh, take our thread back to our tie-in point, and you may need to move some of that yarn out of your way and we can just begin dubbing the body forward. So we're just gonna use a very small amount, a fine amount, and we're gonna to try to dub a nice tight body using olive. If we're tying a, T, a PMD or a mahogany dun or any of those other different colors, this is the only difference right here is we'd use different color dubbing as all. Well. So we're gonna just carefully dub that body forward. It's always easier to just use a little bit and add as you need to. It's uh, a lot of people use too much and then it bulks up the fly and doesn't look very good. So we'll just dub the body forward till we get to the base of that wing. And that's where we'll tie in our hackle. So I'm just using some whiting dry fly saddle hackle. And there's the top side should be facing me. We're just gonna clear away a little part of that stem and we can attach that feather right behind the wing. We're just making three or four good turns. If we need to tie down the stem in front of the wing, we can do that as well. And we'll come right back behind the wing and we'll continue dubbing the body forward. So this should be the thickest part of the fly. And there's already some buildup there from the yarn. And we're just gonna dub to about a little space behind the uh, eye of the hook. So the hackle feather, the top should be facing us. Now when we turn and start wrapping that, the top will be facing forward. So those hackle fibers will tend to, to angle back. So we want it to get a nice, neat hackled feather. And all we need is about four turns. And we'll just hold that straight up in the air and we'll drop our thread over with our left hand. Now we can snip that excess hackle and we should be able to tie a bunch more flies with that same feather. Now you may have some hackle fibers that stick forward and they, they want to get up around the eye of the hook. So just take your left hand and just pull those back out of the way and make a few turns. Now we're just going to add another little ball of dubbing just behind the eye of the hook. And this just cleans everything up and makes it look nice and neat. So this is a very simple um, bluing olive or mayfly imitation. but it's very effective in catching fish. So once I've done with that uh, ball of dubbing up around the eye, I can whip finish. So I'll carefully whip finish, and then I'm gonna snip down any stray hackle fibers or pieces of yarn that may, may have gotten in the way, and really try to clean that up as best I can. For the wing, I'm just gonna hold that tight straight up, and I'm gonna clip that just above the hackle and that gives it a nice profile of what a mayfly would look like. Now with this particular fly, I like to clip the underside. 
uh, to clip those hackle fi fibers so that fly will ride a little bit lower in the water and uh, that's what the fish see. So I hope you get a chance to tie a few of these.